Okay, I will now demo what your homework is sort of supposed to look like. Now, don't laugh. Um, that is not my best effort at this. I have a, I did a better one. But for the purposes of this exercise, the, the placeholder exercise, I've given you a crappy one to use if you didn't complete last week's exercise. But my intention is that you replace this with your own one. That's why I made it deliberately bad. At least that's my excuse, right? So the idea is that I, I've given you a template that's got the rubbish smiley in it. When you look at it, you'll see that you should copy your good smiley on top of this so that you get your own your own personal version. Uh, if you don't have a personal version, then you can use this, but it will look bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> um, but when you've got the when you've done the homework and you've added the event handlers, you'll end up with a smiley that, for example, you can see here it's been positioned uh, not at the centre, even though it was written to draw it at the centre. I have in fact done the you know the translate scale translate thing so i've moved it up to the top right how lovely of me and now if i use wasd classic game uh, keyboard controls i can do that so it's me w s d uh, no when i said w i think i meant a uh, a d s w and now right now i'm repeatedly pressing this game going s s s s s s s s s s s but if I hold it down, something very similar happens anyway. If I just hold down W, you'll see that what happens is it'll move a little bit to begin with, and then it'll keep moving anyway. Right? Again, with S. Does anyone know what's happening there? That thing where it moves once, kind of slowly, and then starts to move more quickly? Do you know what's going on? Key input delay. Okay, key input delay was the answer, and that's close enough. It's what we call an auto-repeat. It's the same like if you're in a word processor or something, right? You hold down a key. The first thing you press it, you press the key, and generally you press it once and it shows up once and it, it won't show up again immediately because it, generally speaking, you know, usually letters are different from each other. So it's expecting you're going to, if you press S, it thinks you've, you've pressed S once and you're going to let it go now and press something else. But if you don't let it go and you keep your finger down on the S, after a certain period of time called the, the auto repeat delay, it just starts generating new S's. So it, it basically, even though you didn't you didn't press S again, you just held it down, the system treats it as if it were a new press event. So you get a bunch of uh, key down events, even though the key was already down. So actually, the thing to remember is that key downs and key ups are not exact parallels to each other. You can have more key downs, you can have key ups. If you hold a key down, it will go you know, down 10 times and then only up once at the end. So when I'm doing this, what's happening is the key repeats coming in and I'm getting additional down events or any other events. Right? So Left, right, up, down, that's kind of easy. But remember that we also added some code to do things like uh, um, rotation. Uh, so if I press Q and E, if I press Q, which is just next to W, we can rotate it anti-clockwise by changing the rotate parameter. E clockwise, like that. Uh, what other tricks could we do with the generalized smiley? Size. Size, we could scale it. If I press O, it gets smaller. Press P, it gets bigger. And in fact, it can handle multiple keys being pressed down at the same time. So if I press W, A, and P, you get this kind of look, you know, I'm just kind of doing a bunch of different things all at once, moving it, scaling it, and so on, like that. And this is what you should be able to do. So you'll write an event handler that tracks that these things have occurred and then says, okay, which keys are currently down? And it does the right thing based on what's currently down. So that's simple enough. Just to make it a bit more interesting, if you press T, T is what's called a toggle, uh, in that it's either on or off. If I switch T on, we now have a trail. So when I move it, it leaves a trail behind it. Which has nice effects when you combine it with stuff like uh, you know, scaling it and moving it, because you get stuff like that, and then when it goes down, you get things like that, uh, like that, and so on. And then when you get bored of that, you can switch the trail off. Now, I've allowed you to clear the screen when the trail goes off, which is a clue about how to implement that. Right? So that's the trail back off. You move around, put the trail back on, comes back on, blah, 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 blah. All right. Also, if you press M, it tracks the mouse position. And now you can do this. You've got the world's worst paint program. You've written MS Paint. Well done. Uh, so that's MS Paint with a smiley face that you can change the size of and rotate it while you're moving it, do all this kind of thing. That's a lot of fun. Switch that off. Um, switch the trail off. And 
just because I hadn't put enough things in this exercise. Uh, one thing you'll notice with like real games, if you think of like platform games, scrolly platform games, they're often the screen is often drawn in a series of layers. You know, there's a, like a background layer, and then you have the mid ground where most of the action is taking place, and then maybe even some foreground stuff in front of it. So I've done the same thing here. If you press B, it brings on a background plane, and I want the background to be the uh, the big original smiley, just because why not? So that's the background. So this thing now moves over the front of the background. And if you press F, there's a foreground, which is in front. Note, notice what happens here, right? The back, the middle, the front, in that order. It's important to get that right. And by the way, when you put the trail on, that has to work as well. Yeah, the trail does the right thing. Clever, huh? Ooh, spooky. And when you do the rotation, just for the hell of it, if you rotate the main smiley, the foreground one also rotates, but in the opposite direction. That was just to kind of make sure that you're actually changing the foreground and not just having the same one be drawn all the time. So, um, but it's, it's simple though, it's just the same variable we use for two purposes, right? So that's that. And uh, I now delete the background. The background goes away. You see, I deleted the trail as well. Again, sometimes the, sometimes the trail will get deleted kind of as a side effect, and that's that, again, will give you a clue as to how the trail is actually done, or how it might be done. Okay, so I think we've covered the basics there. We've got mousey mousey, foreground, background, both toggleable. You can have them both on. You can have one on, the other on. Uh, you can have the trail on or not have the trail on. Uh, you can move with the keys. You can move with the mouse, scaling, blah, 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 blah. So that's lots of fun, and uh, that's your homework exercise for this week. So I've got a template that does a little bit of this for you. But actually, there's quite a lot missing. Basically the whole event handler part is missing. So the first thing you do is go to the lecture notes uh, that I just gave you where there's the stuff about how to set up the event handlers and the key array and you put that in, but then you have to actually make it work. You know, you have to make it like actually change the positions of things and you have to actually tell it to redraw things because it won't redraw them on its own. You have to call the draw function and that's that's what you have to do for this exercise. Uh, in fact, while we're here, any immediate questions about that? To get onto the recording. Yes? The background and foreground, do they have to be the smiley or anything? Or any I want the background and foreground to be the smiley. And in fact, I actually provide you with a default function that does it. Um, it's just, there are some reasons why I want it to be that. So yeah, it's just, I know that you could do things that were more interesting looking, but no, it, if it's the smiley, that helps me check that your smiley function can draw itself more than one time without interfering with itself to make sure that you've cleared all your matrices and, and reset all your paths and everything. So I want it to be smileys, smileys everywhere. Okay. That's the way, uh, that's the way it has to be.